Hi, it's Karen from Simply Said with Karen and today I'd like you to show you how you can make a set of labels for your new catalog. This is using My Digital Studio or MDS, an electronic e-cutter. As we all know, when we get a new catalog, it's really hard to make your way around it and find the things. I know I've seen it someplace, but I just don't know where I've seen it. So by making a set of labels, you will be able to easily find everything you're looking for. So I'm going to um, show you or demonstrate to you how I did these labels using my digital studio in a Silhouette e-cutter. Hi, so let's get started uh, creating our labels for our new catalogs. And of course, once you learn this technique, you can create labels for all sorts of things and even for your other business folders, etc., etc. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have the MDS open and we're going to start a new project. So I'm going to choose custom and I'm going to choose the create a custom size. So it's eight and a half by 11. Now you can uh, have a 12 by 12 if you wish, but that's only if your printer will print 12 by 12. Otherwise you have to stick to the eight by five, uh, eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna create this project and we're going to name it our catalog labels. Okay, so now we have our uh, page open here. So what we need to do is we need to go to punches and add a punch. And I have the Violet Fun download already. So if you don't have it or you think you might have it, you can search for it in the in the bottom uh, search box here. So Violet Fun and it will start looking through your various punches. So if you don't have it, you can order it down from um, my online store and I will give you that address later. And the name of the file is Violet Fun and the item number is 130062. So when you have that downloaded or you have it open, we're going to be using Violet Fun Label 7. So we want to click on that and we want to apply it. So we can close that now. So what happens now, this is an SVG file and these files can be exported and used in other software programs. So we're going to be using that in the Silhouette eCutter. That's what I have, so we'll be using it. So we want to save it first and then we want to share it and we want to export the SVG file. So let's just do that. So it's going to tell you where you want the output location to be, where you save your MDS files and I'm just going to click finish. So let's go back over to the Silhouette file and we're going to start with a new uh, project, a new file. So call that up onto your screen here. Now we, we need to import the file label that we just created. So go down here to, no sorry, go up here to file and it's going to tell you to import and we're going to import to the library. So now we have to go to where our projects are saved. So I have mine saved in a folder called my SVG files. So I'll open that. 
Now the other thing you have to do is you have to select down here all files. So if I go down here and look for my catalog labels, there it is there. So I'm just going to double click on that. And I only have one page. So this is the page. So we're going to go OK. Okay, so you can name that file now. I'm going to call it Catalog Labels. Add some keywords, labels, and MDS. And you can put a description as to what that is if you wish. Or you can put the artist if you wish. And just say OK. So now if we go, here it is right here. The other thing we have to do is, because we're going to print this out on Whisper White cardstock, we need to find a color that we want to fill this file tab with. So I'm going to choose Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to show you how you can import various components to your e-cutter or your silhouette files. So go to up here again to file. We're going to import and we're going to import it to the library. Now this time we need to go find our where our components are stored for our MDS. So mine are stored in my computer up here, so you need to go where to wherever yours are stored. Mine are on Program Files, so I'll click on that. Find your My Digital Studio right here. Click on Components. Now we're going to do the backgrounds, and it's cardstock. So the other thing now we need to do is select all files again. And then we come down here to Coastal Cabana. And we want to use the JPEG, not the thumb. So click on that. And it comes up with your uh, file name. And it's Cardstock and Coastal Cabana. My Digital Studio. So again, I just select the artist, the stamping up, and I select OK. So we want to go in here now and find that Coastal Cabana, and there it is. Now for ease, sometimes it's easier to, instead of having to look through all these different files, we can just move this one straight up to Cardstock. So you will find it now in your fill patterns. And there it is right there. So let's start getting our file or our file tabs set up on our piece of paper. And the first thing you need to do is you need to tell the computer where it's going to print. So you do that by putting registration marks on your paper. So my style of e-cutter is a cameo portrait, so I'm just going to click on that. So these are the areas that you cannot have anything that you want cut outside of this area. So the, the computer is going to read these marks here and they will, it will figure out where you've positioned your various components. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get started on our labels. So I'm just going to select that and move it over here just to get started. Now I'm going to fill it with the cardstock. So we just click on the cardstock because we've already moved the Coastal Cabana into there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we just need to highlight this. So in order to fill this file tab, we need to select our patterns, which is this icon right at the top here. Scroll down to where our cardstock is, and then just 
double click on the cardstock and it should fill it. There we go. So just check your uh, sizing on the file label. So this one is almost three inches long. It's 2.931 and, th and a three quarters of an inch is high, which for the purpose of these is okay. If you want to make it bigger, that's great. So I'm going to close that down because we're finished with it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in because we're going to type out the various sections of the catalog. So we want to go to view, we want to go to zoom, and I'm going to zoom to 100%. So now you can see where you where you're going to type your lettering. So before we continue though, we should save this. So we'll save this as, and we're going to save it. I like to have mine saved in my Silhouette projects. Here we go. So I'm going to save this as 2014 15 catalog. There. So the next thing now that we have to do is we have to start creating the label. So I'm just going to move this one up a bit because we want to be able to use as much of the paper as we can. Just make sure that your label doesn't overlap any of those hashtags. So we've got the first one done. Now to make it easier and so then you can juggle things around, I'm just going to show you how you can copy and paste and then just move it down so that it's inside the red lines. Do another one, move it down. And then I'll do one more for you. And of course, because we've already got it copied, we can just go paste. Now it's a tight fit, but you can get all 24 labels on this eight and a half by 11 by wiggling. And here are the labels that I created the other day. So you can see that I managed to get them all on here by just wiggling and moving and even putting some at a 90 degree angle on the side. So let's go back to ours. So now we're going to start typing. Now we're going to put the text into our labels. So you choose the textile windows up here and this one over here will give you your cursor in your file label. So just get back up here and you can see this red or blue line here. That's your cursor. Now we want to select a font and of course you can select any font you want. I chose to do the Times New Roman and I chose the 16 point. So you can see here that it's gotten smaller. So the first one in the book or in the catalog is gifts and packaging. So we're just going to type that in here and I'm going to do capitals. Now, I need to have this centered a little bit, so you can click on that little round button with the cross in it. And I'm going to just move the top line of that over a bit so it's centered above the packaging. So now what we need to do is we need to fill the uh, wording uh, because what 
the E cutter does is it says, okay, this has red lines around it, so it must mean I have to cut it out, but we don't want to cut it out. So highlight your wording. You go up here to your paint bucket and choose black. And then you go over here to your cutting window and you give it a no cut. So there you have your wording now and it'll when you print it out on your printer then it will show black. So I just want to do this though before I go. So I'm going to select the cut edge for that and I'm going to do the rest of them because I forgot. Okay, so we'll go through that again. So we're going to do the next section of the catalog. Okay, so I haven't quite figured out why this doesn't want to hold, but it sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So we have to make sure we select the right font and size. We have our cursor going on there, so we can just start typing. And the next one is artistic expression. And then again, if you want to center it on your tab, you can do it here. So the other thing is you need to remember to put them as close to the top of the tab as you possibly can without going over the cut edge. So again, you're going to highlight that. You're going to go to your paint bucket. You're going to choose the black. And then you're going to go to your cut file and you're going to choose no cut. So sometimes you want to be able to move these around. You want to be able to group these. So select your wording, select your tab using shift and then you can go right click on your mouse and you go down here to group. So now you can move them around at will without having to worry about the two pieces moving separately. So let's just do the gifts again and we want to choose the wording. So go up, right click on your mouse and go to group. And so it's there. Let's just save this. Okay, so I'll do a couple more for you. And so we're going to do the next one, which is birthday. So we're going to choose this one. And we're going to choose 16 point and start typing. Birthday. You can move it over a bit so that it's centered. Highlight it. Go up here to your fill bucket. Choose the black and then go over here to your cut settings and choose no cut. The last thing you want to do is you want to shift to select both the text and the label and right click. There, so you continue doing that until you have all, there's 24 of them, so we have all 24 labels created and then you want to save it and then the next thing you want to do is you want to print it out on your computer so you just put your whisper white cardstock into your your um, printer and just go up here to file print and of course you can you can do the print setup and then you can do print and just follow through on your normal procedures for printing. So once that is done, you take your printed sheet, your Whisper White cardstock, and you put it onto your sticky mat, and then you put it into your e-cutter, and you go over and you select the send to the silhouette, and you can start and what it does is, is it detects these registration marks so that it knows where to print and then it starts printing 
and you will have all your labels printed out and you just take them off your sticky mat. So then now we're off to actually show you how to put them into your catalog. Now that we have all the labels cut and ready to go, just lay them out so that you can find them easily when you want to put them into your catalog. So I'll just lay them out here. When I attach these to the various pages of the catalog, I'm going to use my snail. You can use Fast Fuse or if you like you can use a two-way glue stick. They, those will adhere and keep, keep your labels on your pages. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find where we start. And the first one we start with is gifts and packages. So we'll just take a quick look. Here it is. So we want to just lay your snail down on the, make sure I'm in the frame here, lay the snail down on the long edge, along there, and then just attach it to the section of gift packaging. So here we are here. So we just want to bring it right to the top so that your tab is sticking up there. So we look for the next one and it's memory keeping. So this is it here. So we'll just put some more snail along here. And we just want to sort of line these up. So get it even with your page there. So then we have memory keeping. The next one is birthday. So that's it here. So we'll attach that. And again, just take it back here to where you put the last one on and line it up there. Then we have wedding. Okay, the wedding, wedding, here we are. Again, just fold it back over and line it up. Had two there. Wedding. Okay, so now I'll, then you just continue until you have them all done. There's a section where you will find two of the um, different products on one page, and that's the adhesives and the decorative mat. Uh, mats and that's on page 205 so we'll just go there so we have the adhesives here and the decorative masks so what you want to do is you just want to attach them but we want to just to trim off a bit of one end. So grab your paper snips and just trim off this section here. And just attach it with a bit of snail. There. Now I'm not going to attach it because what you want to do is work your way through the book and making sure all your tabs are lined up. So have fun. I hope this will help you find the different products in the catalog. And if there is any problem, you can always email me at Karen at simplysaidwithkaren.com and I'll help you out. Thank you and have a great day.